Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Clash Bash. Um, I'm Elaine Hammondry, and I am once again joined by Mo Bogsley. How are you doing today, Mo? I am great, Elaine. It is always a pleasure to be here commentating fab with you, so I'm excited. It's true. We always have so much fun. Um, and yeah, today, I think we have, speaking of fun, a pretty fun matchup. We have Betsy versus Vincent. Uh, do you have any initial reactions to this? Yeah, so Betsy is one of my favorite heavy hitter heroes. Uh, I love her art. I love her ability. And she's really fun to draft. So I'm really excited to see how my experience with her draft decks translates into Clash. Yeah, actually, that might be a really interesting and fun comparison. So let's let's jump into it. Let's do it. We have Betsy versus Vincent. Really and, and yeah, I'm... Look at that purple dude's face. He has gone through it. Poor guy. He has gone through it. He, I I always thought he was a couch, but he's definitely not a couch. He's a real <laughs> creature that Betsy, Betsy took down, I guess. He unfortunately is a couch now. Anything interesting yeah. with the equipment that you are seeing off the bat? Um, I I think I'm really interested to see the, how Betsy uses the um, chapeau headpiece right there. I think that's that's a good card. We got one instance of AB on Betsy's side, which I think makes sense. A lot of this is just going to be rune chant damage um, that Vincent is presenting. Yeah. How about yourself? Uh, looking at the Vincent side, it looks like the normal Vincent setup. I like the Iron Rat hat. Uh, black one is always a good thing. Uh, on the Betsy side, like you said, Chapeau is such an interesting card. And Baby Shield and Baby Hammer, I love to see it. <laughs> baby Shield and Baby Hammer. I, I love to see it too. I just like to actually visualize the hero with the Baby Shield and the Baby <laughs> Hammer. I, I think that's a really nice visualization. That makes me smile. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so Betsy did go first. She played a blue aura and passed back. Uh, and it looks like Vincent activated Vincent, banished a deathly veil, I believe. And then is just coming to a specter of pain, trying to send the pain train over to Betsy. Yeah, um, and we'll see specter of pain. I don't know why that felt like a tongue twister to me, but Spectre of Pain. I'm curious to see if we'll see any rune chants be able to build, be able to create it off the back end of this. Suddenly I can't speak. Betsy saying, that is okay. I will pitch a blue, block the AB, and she has a four card hand going into her turn with that aura popping. So Betsy could just, you know, Zerg rush down this Vincent try to take her out as quickly as possible if there's two blues and this is an overpower coming right that um that aura is gonna give plus three to betsy's next attack Ooh, and that's a that's a good card so mantra grande has um dominate so i'm not sure that you really need the overpower here but but it the overpower does give plus one damage and they have the resources floating so this is coming for 12 Overpowered Dominate, really flexing on this Vincent. Really flexing. And we're getting the Wager with the Might token. Uh, this is a game that I expect will go longer, but if Betsy draws like this, this game be, could be over very quickly. Yeah, this is, a, this is really aggressive so far. I mean, I know this is like the first attack that we've really seen. Um... From either, aside from that scepter from Vincent, but this is a really aggressive good attack. So we've got the reduce to rune chant attack reaction. And that is such a good way for Vincent to try to mitigate this overpower, try to get some extra blocks in and keep their life high while also making the rune chants. Yeah. Uh, going back over to Vincent's turn, she's going to make a third rune chant, start of turn with her hero ability. Unfortunately, having to banish or reduce the rune chat due to the dominate. Yeah, like so I'm curious to see. Runeblade incantation, runeblood incantation. Yeah, one of the staples in Vincent, getting a rune chant every turn of the game so you can play your cards from the banish zone easier. While also having go again, while really just fueling your whole engine. 
This is getting pretty. This is a pretty um, aggressive comeback from the Vincent side, which I'm I'm really happy to see. So we've got the Rune Chan damage coming through, three Rune Chans, as well as the six damage from the Deathly Wall Whale. Yeah, and if Betsy takes any damage this turn, when the combat chain closes, Deathly Whale will make a Rune Chant equal to the number of heroes who have lost life this turn. So kind of replacing a Rune Chant on the way out. Yeah, the the rune chant generation is a really good way um, to poke down on Betsy's life total of this game. See, I think we're still debating on if we're taking the rune chants. Looks like Betsy's going to take those three rune chants, and we'll see a full block on the six damage. It looks like two red cards. Maybe Betsy just doesn't have a blue that she can afford to give up. Oh, the pummel! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, 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 wow! Whoa! Uh, talk about an aggressive game. This <laughs> You know, I, I know pummel been said is a thing, but I think me and Betsy and you all just got caught off guard. I was I would out. say 100% caught off guard by the pummel from Arsenal. That is not what I thought. You know, when this turn started, I thought it, it couldn't really see the Vincent's hand. And I thought that maybe we'd, we'd come out and do something like a, a ravenous rabble from Arsenal or, you know, like a starter card from Arsenal. I was not expecting a pummel there, but wow. And Betsy Shutting down forced. Betsy's turn. Yeah, just forced the Arsenal and pass, losing the might token that she wagered the turn before. All tempo is on Vincent's side. Unfortunately, Vincent only has two, soon to be three rune chants, so hopefully they can take advantage of that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll see see what Vincent can do to keep tempo. We're gonna get a banish of the Deathly Whale. Rune Blood I... Incantation is gonna trigger. I will say, whoever, when the longer this game goes, I believe it's going to favor Betsy due to pitching for rune chance and never running out of cards. But if Vincent is playing Rainbow Pummels, it's going to make blocking very hard. Oh, and the Mavron Sky is coming out. That is a good opener, of course, for any rune blood hand. Yeah, it, it's a must block on the next attack now, threatening rune, three rune chance on hit and giving go again. Yep, and the next attack is going to come in with the rune chance anyway. So we're going to that if you don't block this out, you just get keep replenishing those rune chance. This is a really good, really good. Yeah. Vincent is asking the question, and it looks like Betsy wanted to just kind of smack smack Vincent around, but now she can't. She has to play defensive, has to hope that Vincent has a clunker of a hand soon to get back into the tempo of this game. Yeah, I mean, taking nine damage here is that's a that's a lot of damage, and this also is go again. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. yes, yeah. So it might be a flail of uh, whatever the Vincent weapon is that you can pay a life to swing it, and it deals one damage. Flail of this is this is bothering me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy looking at her hand again, debating if she wants to pitch cards for the rune chance, block the attack. Looks like no rune chance blocks and giving up the shield, maybe? I couldn't see what those cards were. I'm not sure if they were two blocks or three blocks. I didn't. I believe they're two block non attack actions. Uh, so the shield covering up the last two points of damage. Right. Taking the rune chance, we'll see the Vincent is going to put on some more pressure here. Yeah, leaving Betsy with two cards in hand and a card in Arsenal uh, is always terrifying as a guardian. Inspector of Pain coming out over instead, dealing the one arcane. He's saying, hey, you know what? You didn't want to block my rune chance? You want to block this one? Right, hoping to just do one more, get one more um, rune chant made this turn, set up for next turn, and then of course that rune blood incantation is still around for next turn as well. And the damage goes through, making the rune chant on hit. Let's see what Betsy is cooking over there. I think that with two cards in an arsenal, Betsy can still have a pretty good comeback turn. Um, but now that you know that this is a pummel of inset, you've, you've kind of got to 
you know, think a little bit more with your life total here. Yeah, you can't be super aggressive because a pummel could just take you out of the game. But maybe something like bet big or something similar could turn the tides. Uh, the cross trap so is see... broken here. I see doing some quick math. Looks like she wants to wager a gold on this next attack. I think it's pretty good. I mean... With two floating and the next attack costing two less, this could be a maximum of a four cost attack. Maybe debating if the Goliath gauntlets are going to be broken here to really try to force max damage. And there is the Goliath gauntlets. Yeah, I mean, if you can force max, max damage here, get the attack to come through. You've got... Um, you can get the wager of gold and then you next turn you could activate the chapeau to um overpower your attack and hopefully hopefully continue to put on a lot of pressure and, and some damage that's hard to be blocked right yeah and a concuss for 11 is pretty terrifying concuss reads if this hits and it has greater power than its base they discard a card so really just forcing cards out of Vincent's hand and almost time walking them. Looks like it will hit for five, discarding a red Mavron Skies, leaving Vincent with one card. In the perfect world, this would be a three cost uh, Shadow Gate card. So Vincent can just, you know, play a zero and just play that card. But it looks like it yeah, is, is a, a deathly bit... whale. It's a little bit, um, okay, so we are going to see the Goliath Gauntlet activation from Vincent as well with the Deathly Whale. So this is pretty powerful. You got seven physical damage, but before that, you have four. Oh, and Betsy's <laughs> going to take the four arcane damage. We are running um, our Null Room boots, but I don't think that we want to use them. It's just a fashion choice, honestly. Honestly, Betsy in those boots, I can see it. Betsy's a very stylish girl. Uh, but this is the power of Vincent, right? Keeping one card and only one card and still sending 11 damage with a one card hand? Insanity. It is, that is really good. You know, uh, I don't have a ton of experience with Vincent, quite honestly, but this is pretty impressive off of a one card hand. Uh. Did Betsy not wager gold last turn, or are they just missing their token? Because that gold token would be huge right now. I am not sure. I know that that attack dealt, and I was pretty sure we wagered gold. But um, it, it's possible that perhaps the... Um... Oh, it looks, so, like, looks like they didn't wager last turn because they didn't pull the token yeah. out like they are this time. Uh, Bet yeah. Big coming in for a nine... Wagering a gold might add vigor while Vincent is at eight, so they have to respect this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you don't respect this, you this is this could be possible death right here. And not just possible death. Uh Betsy is trying to set up for the next turn with Chapeau with the gold, with the vigor to make her four cost stuff be played off one blue, and the might to pop, uh, buff up those cards like concuss. So every one of those tokens are very valuable to this Betsy. Yeah, very valuable tokens, of course, to have um, to present a, a very powerful next turn. But we'll see if Betsy can even... Oh, looks like we're getting a Sigil of Suffering. We'll see if Betsy um, survives the next turn. We are getting down to three life on Betsy's side and we have one rune chant already made with the rune blood incantation so I don't think there's going to be any more just boots for style we're going to have to start activating those to survive yeah with a guaranteed three rune chants next turn uh, yeah. Betsy would just die to them so she really needs to hope to draw blue and hope to be able to keep one, one to two cards to actually make use of this vigor might and gold token Keeping one card on Betsy Psycho, let her pop the gold with the vigor, have three floating still, and kind of try to go off. But we will see. And is it just a read the runes? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, well, they have the uh, boots to get go again? It was, yeah, Mage Master yeah. boots into a read the runes. So this is going to be a 
12 damage, 6 arcane, and 6 physical damage. Really just saying, give me your hand, Betsy. This turn is mine. Uh, right. Enjoy your tokens. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool vigor and might token you have. Just give me the last six. And then the good thing with Betsy is if she can fully block this, Vincent has no rune chance, nothing to make rune chance left on her side of the board. And that's what Vincent needs. Vincent needs ways to play stuff from Banished. And if she doesn't have any, she might have a bad turn next turn. So I love this. Yeah. Movie. Right. And I. We'll see um, the cleanup and obviously Betsy's just going to draw up and pass here is not really much you can do. Um, have, well, yeah. Um, but the gold token will still be around for the following turn and you still have Chapeau, so you can still present a pretty good turn depending on what the Vincent comes back with. This and this turn by Vincent, I think, will really determine how the rest of this game goes. Vincent needs to ship cards out of Betsy's hand while at three because any overpower attack can kill them unless they have a defense reaction for Arsenal. Right. And we have is... seen some defense reactions. So unless they have one in hand that they can Arsenal at the end of this turn, but it, it, we'll see. So three cards left in Vincent's hand, one rune chant up. What can they do? Pitching a yellow. Playing an Oath of the Arc Knight to make another rune chant and making the next rune blade attack plus two this turn into a Mavrian Skies oh, yellow. Yeah. And they're doing the thing. They are they're, putting the pressure on. They're doing the thing. Does Betsy want to go to one here and ignore these rune chants. Going to one is so scary have... with the Vincent hero ability to just make the next rune chant unpreventable. Is that pitching a a yellow yellow money where your mouth which is, is in... yes I believe so. So seven damage coming <laughs> through. Chapeau can still block for one if Betsy wants to try to keep two cards. It yep, and it looks like what we'll see. Right. Well, this does have go again. Right, so a whale oh. might be coming next. And that is debating their choices of what to send Betsy's way. What a cute little piece of paper this is go again to. It's like, it looks like a mountain range with the sun. That Very is calming. Cute. Makes me want to go to Tokyo so bad. Yeah. All right. We got the Aether <laughs> Iron Weave activation here, which uh, is good because you got the, the Scepter of Pain that can come in. Uh, oh, it looks like we're undoing some stuff, possibly. Maybe just cleaning up the board to make it easier. Yeah, for maybe the just. Experience. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. So same thing still happening. Scepter of Pain coming in. Um, so this is going to... Strip Take. the last card. Yeah. It was interesting um, when I saw Betsy pitch the yellow card for the two rune chance. I was curious if the Betsy player had a blue there um, for in case um, Vincent followed it up with a scepter of pain. You could just use one card to prevent. So I, I'm kind of curious if. Yeah, I think the I main think thing there was keep the blue for Titan's Fist. Uh, three damage does represent lethal, so it would have forced a card out of Vincent's hand if they didn't want to pop the chest. Right. Yeah. yeah. But Vincent has all the gas right now. Can they keep this up? That is not a card you want to see go to the Banish Zone if you are a big Vincent fan. Oh, and let's... But they still have attacks. They still have gas. This is coming for seven damage and one rune chant. No go again or anything. It's just one card in hand. How is Betsy going to get herself out of this corner that she's in? Takes the rune chant. Down we take two. the rune chant. And we still have seven physical damage. So even if you block um, six here to keep two cards, um, you're still going down to one, 
with the rune chants. Ooh. No, they're just going to cover it up and keep one card. I think they really just want to either crack the gold or swing hammer. I think that's what they're debating right now with the one card yeah. left. But Vincent being able to arsenal a card, it might be another pummel. And that's something that Betsy's going to have to try to play around for the rest of the game. Right, that card in Arsenal is really threatening a lot here now that we know that Vincent is on a Pummel Vincent list. So I do think Hammer is the right choice here as you've got... Um, I mean, it's presenting lethal, right? Yeah, so four coming across has to block with a card. If I'm Betsy, I'm scared of the defense reaction that deals one arcane because that is getting us closer to the danger zone. Right. Yeah, being at one life against a Vincent when you've got Rune Chance coming in is not fun. <laughs> Vincent is debating their choices. Looking at the arsenal. And it is the one damage on the defense reaction. Oh no! Sigil of Suffering. I mean, so... You're going to one, but maybe maybe the silver lining is that your your mind is at ease that's not a pummel. Yeah, that is true. No, no longer need to play around Pummel. And Set's hero ability is now live, though, to kill with the rune chat whenever that window opens, though. Yep. Can Vincent find a way to make a rune chat and activate the hero ability and close this game? Or will Betsy get another turn? I mean, Vincent, too, is still able to um, keep their whole hand and deal one damage on their opponent's turn. That's exactly what you want to see when life totals are this low and this close. I am a little worried that Vincent doesn't have a good banish. No, no attacks going into the banish zone. Just having to banish a red buff. A one rune chain is still lethal, though. Yeah, demanding at least one card every time they throw an attack for that rune chant is so frustrating. So Can frustrating. It's like a Kadachi of itself, right? It is an automatic Kadachi every turn from the hero ability. It looks like we're really seeing inset players debating something. It is a rune blood. Might be trying to set up okay. for a big power turn in the next few turns if they don't have a way to close the game out this turn. Yep, it is just me the Spectre for one. So Betsy gets to keep three cards here. Only one arcane coming through. This might be ideal scenario for Betsy, just what the just what Betsy needs. Because if Betsy can um activate her ability, give something overpower. It's exactly what you'd want, right? Yeah. This This is the kind of turn that Betsy was hoping for, and it's a wage gold. So this is eight overpower? Yep. With no card in Arsenal, they need a defense reaction to get around this. And they have it. They have it. And you get to make that room chan. <laughs> Yeah, another rune chant coming through. And a rune chant start of turn. If Vincent has an attack to banish, this might be all she wrote. This game is this so is a, close. I say this is a good game. We've got the rune blood incantation triggering here. I think the best card for Bessie to jar right now, if she's playing it, is a sigil of solace. Just any kind of way to gain some life to try to get around some of that rune chant damage. Four rune chants is going to require damage. two cards and seven damage. Is there a defense reaction? Is, is there a sink? Just, no, there's no sink. Doesn't seek. look like it. Yeah. Oh my that's, god, Vincent that's got gotta be there. it. Wow, that was such a cool game. Vincent wins. That was a really cool game. I really enjoyed that. God, Betsy showed what Betsy did best. Vincent shows what Vincent does best. Both so both of those players pretty on a great showing. Elaine, what are your thoughts on that game? What went right and what went wrong? Um, I really like that game. Last last game um in the fab 
the clash bash that we watched that was a vincent game we really didn't get to see vincent do much of anything um and i thought that the vincent player really well played uh on this turn you know just was able to keep up the pressure present arcane damage and physical damage every single turn um i think that like it, it just put Betsy in a really hard position, right? But we did see some powerful turns of Betsy trying to get tempo back. I thought it was really well played and really that was a good game. How about yourself? I agree. I think both sides of that game played amazingly, showed off what their decks are trying to do, show off why their decks are so strong, and why you should check out Betsy and Vincent. Both heroes that don't get a ton of love in CC, but both heroes that can have those insane cool turns. And these are just clash decks like imagine the cool cards with cc as well like clash is such a powerful and fun format more people should be checking this format out yeah no definitely like those games those decks just looked fun to play like now i want to go sit down and, and try and play one of them that was fun thanks for thanks for doing with this with me today yeah yeah where can we find where can people oh, oh, is it, <laughs> oh, oh. I, i'll go first i'll go first yeah you <laughs> uh you guys can find me on twitter at mobogsley i tweet way more than i should a lot of funny stuff a lot of dumb stuff come check me out and how about you elaine uh, you guys can find me on Twitter under E Ham on Tree. I'm also one half of the Pitch Perfect podcast with Melody, and I run the Rainbow Pitch League with Kiki and Melody. Links to those are in my bio. That's what it's called on Twitter. Um, and once again, that's E Ham on Tree. Yeah. But yeah, see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for Bye. watching.